In this video, we'll connect a PowerFlex 525 drive with a PanelView 800 HMI through a Micro 850 controller for control of the drive via HMI. Let's begin by starting a new program. Here we can select components based off the product part number or in our case, by the network browsing feature, select existing devices. There are additional connections here that have been configured in Iris Links to allow for connection of our devices over Wi-Fi. Connecting this method, we will need to initially set the IP of the drive and controller, which is not detailed in this video. Select the device you wish to add to the project. First, it is important to configure the IP address of the controller. This will change the address when the program is being downloaded to the controller. This can be different to the existing IP address you have set for your controller over the network. However, note that you will lose connection after download of the program if this IP differs from the subnet that your computer is on. Open the drive settings. Next, we will configure the PowerFlex 525 drive and download the Rockwell user-defined function block to allow control of the drive via the Micro 850 controller. This will allow us to communicate to the drive and integrate it with the Micro 850 and PanelView 800. To obtain this, we need to open our web browser. Navigate to your web browser and go to the Rockwell sample code library. This is a Rockwell repository for PLC code to assist in your PLC programming. In our case, we can search for Micro 800, User-Defined Function Block, Ethernet Communications. You can see a brief description of each of the sample codes brought up in the results. And if you click on the details arrow, what hardware this works with. Click Download accept the terms and extract the file to a location where you can access it. Once extracted, open the file location, double click on the zip file and copy its contents before pasting the files in a location where you can access it. This is the file we will import into CCW. Return to CCW. Right-click on the Micro 850 controller in the Project Organizer and select Import and Import Exchange File. Click Browse in the new window and navigate to your location where the file is ready to be imported into CCW. Select the file and click OK. This adds the Rockwell created user-defined function block which allows for you to communicate with your drive over Ethernet. If you open the user-defined function block, you can see the code used to create this is structured text. The function block can now be added to your own ladder diagram. Select and place the instruction block, double click and select the imported user defined function block. The name of this block will be the same as what is shown in the project organizer. Variables and their type can be seen by placing the mouse over the block. To use this block, we must create our global variables for our HMI and function block to reference. Before this, return to the PowerFlex 525 settings to set up the drive parameters. Wizards are an easy way to set up and configure the drive. To connect to a drive on the network, click Connect and select your drive. Tick Use Physical to obtain drive parameters if configured. Return to Wizards and begin the startup wizard to configure your drive.
Direction test can be used to determine if the drive is moving your motor in the correct direction. Note, ensure you are local to the equipment when you perform these tests. Ensure speed reference one is set to Ethernet IP in order to control the speed setting from your HMI. Ensure the Ethernet IP settings are correct to allow continued communication with your drive. Summary of the changes, if made, will be displayed here. Click Finish to confirm. Remember, to use this block, we must create our global variables for our HMI and function block to reference. Create a global variable for each drive parameter you wish to use. Ensure you enter this tag into the relevant section of the function block. Once complete, open the HMI settings to configure and create the HMI application. First select the communications protocol to Allen Bradley Ethernet CIP. Now set the IP address of PLC1 to the IP address you have configured previously for your controller. Ensure you save the changes you have made. The Tags tab allows you to create HMI tags and link these to controller tags. To create each tag, we will need to fill in the following. Tag name allows for renaming of the tag referenced by the HMI. Address specifies which tag to reference to. Controller specifies which PLC to reference. The Alarms tab allows you to create an alarm that will appear as a banner across the top of your HMI application and can be cleared. Open Alarms, select an alarm as the trigger, and enter the message to be displayed. Open screen 1 to create your HMI application. Here we will add a number of momentary push buttons to provide start, stop and fault commands. Double click to open configuration for each item and alter as required. Once altered, ensure you link the created tags to each respective object on the screen. Once completed, we will add a speed reference input, output current and fault code indicator.
We can also create an additional text warning notifying of comms loss direct on the screen, which can only be removed once communications is returned. This is done by selecting and setting a visibility tag. To get your system running, download the PLC program to the controller and HMI application to the HMI. Download your HMI application by right clicking on the application and click on download. If required, browse for your HMI over the network. When prompted, click yes to stop any loaded applications. Click yes to start and load the new application. To get your system running, download the PLC program to the controller. If prompted, click download to overwrite existing program in the controller. Download with project values and click yes to turn the controller into remote run mode. You can now successfully create a HMI application and PLC program to control your PowerFlex 525 drive.